self-love or self-denial? What is the Christian thing to do? My name is Elena. I founded FontSound as your Catholic outsource partner and social media influencer ministry committed to empowering missionary disciples. Subscribe to my channel for more videos just like this one. Self-love or self-denial? What is the Christian thing to do? And I think we need to make a distinction between self-love and self-indulgence. Self-love is knowing who God has called me to be and being appreciative of the gifts and talents and purpose that God has given me. Self-indulgence is taking the easy way out. Self-indulgence can take on the form of selfishness. Maybe instead of going to help a friend with the music at mass, I just stay at home and take a bubble bath and eat bonbons. Self-indulgence could be not going to school to further my craft so that I could just make lots of money. Maybe not sharing my resources with the poor. Self-love is appreciating and sharing the gifts God has given me. We also need to make a distinction between self-denial and self-harm. Self-denial is looking to the greater good. Self-harm is neglecting one's health or putting oneself in danger, even taking pleasure in dangerous behavior. Self-love or self-denial? What are we called to do as Christians? Well, I think we have to first know who we are to deny ourselves and the only way that we can truly know who God has called us to be is to get to know God first in prayer and in our encounters with the people who are sent to reveal God's love to us. That's what Jesus instructs in this weekend's gospel. A scribe approaches him to ask, Jesus, what's the greatest commandment? To which Jesus responds, The Lord our God is one. Love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your mind, with all your soul, and to love your neighbor as yourself. The scribe responds, Yeah, Jesus, you know what you're talking about. I don't want to nudge the scribe and say, Well, duh, he is the son of God. But I think the scribe will figure that out later. The scribe continues to say, This is worth more than any of the burnt offerings or sacrifices. And Jesus says, Yeah, you're not too far from the kingdom of God. The kingdom of God is a joyful place. The kingdom of God is a place where each person is secure in his or her own identity or purpose and doesn't need to put anybody else down, doesn't need to attack anyone else or defend their right to be who they're called to be. We're not too far from God's kingdom when we know who we are. But the only way we can do that is by getting to know God first. Thought fam, my prayer for you is that as you grow in your relationship with God, you may also come to a deeper appreciation of the glorious creation that you are in God's very own image and likeness. Be sure to check out The Great Adventure Bible from Ascension Press. The link is in the description box below. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!